Okay, let's talk about closure property. We are interested in closure property for integers. But first, we need to know what is closure property. So let's say there is a set. We all understand what set is and there are few numbers like this. And now there are different operations that I can do with the numbers in sets. The operations are usually addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. And there are other many operations which we do not really need to know for now. But let's say just for these four and even for these four, we will only focus on addition and subtraction here. So let's say this is the only set that we have for now, set A, which has four numbers. And what if we select any two numbers and perform these two operations? Okay, so let's choose any two. What I can choose is two and four. Now, if I add two and four, the result is six, right? I want to focus on the result here. Then I choose two more numbers, say three and four again. So now three plus four is seven. Let me choose subtraction operation now and we'll choose three and five. So let's say I write five minus three. Now let's look at all these results. Do we find these results? In the set A, 6 is not present in the set, 7 is not present in the set, 2 is present in the set. But for every subtraction, would there be the result available in the set? So if we chose to write 3 minus 5 instead, I would get minus 2 and this result is again not present in the set. When the results are not present in the set, we say that a given operation, say addition or subtraction is not closed for the given set. But when the outputs are present in the given set, then we say the closure property is satisfied for the given operation. Now this set was small. The sets that we usually deal with are larger sets such as set of whole numbers. Now whole numbers are natural numbers and zero. So the whole numbers could be represented by W and I'll write zero comma one comma two comma three comma four and so on. What we are particularly interested in this video is closure property for addition and subtraction for integers. So we will have negative integers, then minus three, minus two, comma, minus one. This is how I usually write this. And this is how we can represent the set of integers. Now let's talk about closure property for addition, right? And subtraction for these two sets. So what we're going to do is we are going to select any two numbers. And we will perform addition and subtraction and we will see whether output exists in the same set or not. Now let's choose integers as a set first. So just think about any two numbers. I can think about say minus four and minus one. So if I select minus four and minus one, but I'm adding those. So I get minus five. Is minus five inside I? Is minus five an integer? Yes. And you can, you can verify this for any two given numbers but it will take so long to verify all the combination of all the numbers and check the addition of it. And that's why we have this property on platter that integers follow the closure property for addition. And so we know that if you select any two given numbers, you will get an output as an integer. An elegant way to write this is that integer set or we could just write integers is closed under addition as well as subtraction. So even if you subtract any two given numbers from the set of integers, you will get an integer. For example, if you select two and minus two, so two minus minus two gives you four, which is there in the integer set. So this is a very important property that we just learned about integers that it is closed under addition and subtraction. What about whole number set? Let's see whether whole numbers are closed under addition and subtraction. Select any two given numbers from the whole number set, say one and two. And if we add them, do we get whole number? Yes. Uh, is there anything that doesn't follow this property? Can you find the combination of two numbers such that the output is outside of the whole numbers? No. So whole number set is closed under addition, but I haven't written subtraction here. And the reason is that the whole number set is not closed under subtraction. Let's see why. There are certain whole numbers when you select them and subtract them, you get negative numbers 
and in whole numbers you don't have negative numbers for example if you chose to subtract 2 from 1 so if i write 1 minus 2 this is a whole number and this is a whole number and you will get minus 1 and this is not a whole number and so because of at least one case where the output of subtraction of two whole numbers is not a whole number it makes the whole number set not closed under subtraction so that is also very important so we can write whole number set is closed under addition but not closed under subtraction